Welcome guys to another video on Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video we will learn about cardiotocography, which is also known as CTG, FHR monitor or non-stress test monitor. This video we will keep it in a simplified way to explain about the fetal monitors. In this video we look into introduction to fetal monitor and type of fetal monitors. This will be the two video series. In next video, we will cover application of cardiotocography. Let's start the video with introduction to cardiotocography. Beetle monitoring was invented by doctors Alan Bradfield, Orvin Hess and Edward Hahn. A refined antipartum, non-invasive, beat-to-beat version cardiotocography was later developed by was later developed for Hewlett-Packard by Conrad Hammacher. CTG monitoring is widely used to assess fetal well-being. A review found that in the antenatal period before labor, there is no evidence to suggest that monitoring a woman with high-risk pregnancies benefits the mother or baby, although research around this is old and should be interpreted with caution. The same review found that computerized CTG machines resulted in lower numbers of baby deaths than the traditional CTG machines. Let's know how CTG works. The device used in cardiotocography is known as a cardiotocograph. It involves the placement of two transducers onto the abdomen of a pregnant woman. One transducer records the fetal heart rate using ultrasound, and the other transducer monitors the contractions of the uterus by measuring the tension of the maternal abdominal wall, providing an indirect indication of intrauterine pressure. The CTG is then assessed by a midwife and the obstetric medical team. It is normal for a baby's heart rate to vary between 110 and 160 beats a minute. This is much faster than your own heart rate, which is about 60 to 100 beats per minute. A heart rate in your baby that doesn't vary or is too low or too high may signal a problem. Changes in the baby's heart rate that occur along with contractions form a pattern. Certain changes in this pattern may suggest a problem. If test results suggest your baby has a problem, your doctor may decide to deliver the baby right away. This may mean you need to have a caesarean section or an assisted delivery using forceps. Internal measurement requires a certain degree of cervical dilation as it involves inserting a pressure catheter into the uterine cavity as well as attaching a scalp electrode to the fetal head to adequately measure the electric activity of the fetal heart. Internal measurement is more precise and might be preferable when a complicated childbirth is expected. A typical CTG reading is printed on paper and or stored on a computer for later reference. Use of CTG and a computer network allow continual remote surveillance. A single obstetrical nurse, midwife or obstetrician can watch the CTG traces of multiple patients simultaneously via a computer station. The fetal heart rate and the activity of the uterine muscle are detected by two transducers placed on the mother's abdomen, one above the fetal heart to monitor heart rate and the other at the fundus of the uterus to measure frequency of contractions. Doppler ultrasound provides the information which is recorded on a paper strip known as a cardiotocograph, CTG. External tochometry is useful in showing the beginning and end of contractions as well as frequency, but not the strength of contractions. The absolute values of pressure readings on an external tochometer are dependent on position and are not sensitive in people who are obese. In cases where information on the strength or precise timing of contractions is needed, an internal tonometer is more appropriate. 
Let's know about the type of CTG machine. CTG machines can be classified as conventional fetal monitors, wireless fetal monitors, and central station-based fetal monitors. Conventional CTG machines are the standalone machines which has wired ultrasound transducer, TOCO transducer, and event marker. In wireless CTG machine, the ultrasound probe, TOCO transducer, and event marker is connected wireless to the main device and continuously monitor the patient without any cables. And in central station-based, fetal monitoring are used in obstetric gynecologist departments where more than one patient can be monitored at one place. Multiple CTG machines can be connected to central station by wire or by medical-graded wireless communication. Begin with TOCO transducer in CTG machine. A TOCO dynamometer, or TOCO for short, is a transducer pressure sensing device that can detect the changes in your abdomen as the uterus tightens during a contraction. It marks how often contractions occur and the length of each, producing a graph that looks like a series of hills rolling across the bottom of the printout. The external contraction monitor can't tell how strong a contraction is, since the size of the hill is affected by the tightness of the belt and if you're thin or heavy. If a precise measurement of the strength of the contraction is needed, an internal pressure monitor can be placed inside the uterus. The second type of transducer used in measuring intrauterine pressure is IUP transducer. An intrauterine pressure catheter, IUPC, is a device placed into the amniotic space during labor in order to measure the strength of uterine contractions. External tocodynometers are used to measure tension across the abdominal wall and detect only contraction frequency and duration. The appearance of contractions by external monitoring may be affected not only by contraction strength, but also by maternal habitus, position, gestational age, and monitor location on the abdomen. Let's look into ultrasound transducers in CTG machines. Cardiotocography uses ultrasound to detect the baby's heart rate. Ultrasound travels freely through fluid and soft tissues. However, ultrasound is reflected back. It bounces back as echoes when it hits a more solid, dense surface. For example, the ultrasound will travel freely through the blood in a heart chamber, but when it hits a solid valve, a lot of the ultrasound echoes back. Another example is that when ultrasound travels through bile in the gallbladder, it will echo back strongly if it hits a solid gallstone. So an ultrasound hits different structures in the body of different densities. It sends back echoes of varying strength. In CTG monitoring, a special type of ultrasound called Doppler is used. This type of ultrasound is used to measure structures that are moving, making it useful for monitoring heart rates. The other plate on the CTG measures how tense the mother's abdomen is. This measurement is used to show when the uterus is contracting. The next transducer is spiral electrode, also known as fetal scalp electrode. Internal cardiotocography uses an electronic transducer connected directly to the fetal scalp. A wire electrode is attached to the fetal scalp through the cervical opening and is connected to the monitor. This type of electrode is sometimes called a spiral or scalp electrode. Internal monitoring provides a more accurate and consistent transmission of the fetal heart rate than external monitoring because factors such as movement do not affect it. Internal monitoring may be used when external monitoring of the fetal heart rate is adequate or closer surveillance is needed. Let's know how to read CTG graphs. When performing CTG interpretation, you first need to determine if the pregnancy is high or low risk. This is important 
as it gives more context to the CTG reading, e.g. if the pregnancy categorized as high risk, the threshold for intervention may be lower. Some reasons a pregnancy may be considered high risk. Next, you need to record the number of contractions present in a 10-minute period. Each big square on the example CTG's chart below is equal to one minute. So look at how many contractions occurred within 10 big squares. Individual contractions are seen as peaks on the part of the CTG monitoring user in activity. Assess contractions for the following. Duration. How long do the contractions last? Intensity. How strong are the contractions? Let's know about acceleration in graph. Accelerations are an abrupt increase in the baseline fetal heart rate of greater than 15 BPM for greater than 15 seconds. The presence of accelerations is reassuring. Accelerations occurring alongside uterine contractions is a sign of a healthy fetus. The absence of accelerations with an otherwise normal CTG is of uncertain significance. Let's know about decelerations in graph. Decelerations are an abrupt decrease in the baseline fetal heart rate of greater than 15 BPM for greater than 15 seconds. The fetal heart rate is controlled by the autonomic and somatic nervous system. In response to hypoxic stress, the fetus reduces its heart rate to preserve myocardial oxygenation and perfusion. Unlike an adult, a fetus cannot increase its respiration depth and rate. This reduction in heart rate to reduce myocardial demand is referred to as deceleration. There are a number of different types of deceleration, each with varying significance. We hope you understood the application of the CTG machine. We tried to keep it as simple as we could. If you like this information on CTG machines, hit that like button and subscribe to Biomedical Engineers TV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.